we know that the speed of light is 670 million miles per hour. Fast enough to travel 37,000 miles in the time it takes you to blink. Of course, as with all scientific knowledge, it wasn't always so. In the 17th century, many scientists believed that light was instantaneous, that it didn't have a speed. Of course, Galileo, being the genius he was, disagreed. He and an assistant carried lamps to two hilltops, one mile apart. Galileo would flash his lantern so that his assistant on the other hill could see it. The assistant would flash his lantern as soon as he could see the light from Galileo's. Galileo measured the time between turning on his light and seeing his assistant's light. Of course, as you might expect, it didn't work. The only observable delay was caused by the time necessary for the reaction of the assistant. Even when Galileo tried altering the distance and observing the difference in time, the experiment failed. The method Galileo was attempting to use was ineffective without modern measurement tools. The first successful measurement of the speed of light was by this guy. An astronomer, he observed that a moon of Jupiter had inconsistent eclipses. In looking for an explanation, he discovered that the eclipse would occur sooner if the Earth and Jupiter were closer together as they orbited. On the other hand, if they were more distant, the eclipse would seem to occur later. Of course, this is due to the speed of light, and using this information, he was able to calculate the first accurate estimate. The number he came up with was 504 million miles per hour, as opposed to the known speed of 670 million miles per hour. A slightly newer method calls for a rotating cogwheel in a mirror. A laser light is shown through one of the grooves in the cog. It then reflects off the mirror and back to the cog. By this time, the cog has turned enough to allow the light to pass back through, but now one cog further. Using the distance to the mirror, the rate of rotation, and the number of cogs on the wheel, the speed of light can be calculated. This method is generally accurate to 1%. We came with our current measurement by using more complex techniques that we didn't have time for in this video. But if you want to know more, feel free to check out the links in the description. So there you have it. That's how we came to know the speed limit of the universe. If you like this video, feel free to check out these previous ones. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you have a question or topic you'd like us to cover, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.